When making cutouts, particularly with a colored background, you may have noticed that some original background color exists in the fringes of the cutout that can make your final composite less realistic. To get rid of this problem, tools like Photoshop and Pixelmator Pro have specific decontaminate color functions which does the job automatically. Unfortunately, Affinity Photo has no such tool which might be a deal breaker for some. So in this video, I thought it useful to demonstrate one way of handling this problem to help you get even higher quality composites. So let's demonstrate the process with this image, which I've also used in my previous video on hair selection. In that video, I used channels, which is the most precise way I know to get the cutout. Unfortunately, as you can see here, despite my best efforts, the blue remnants remain from the sky. So how do we get rid of that? One option is to reduce the coverage area of the selection. Let's try that. I'll choose an appropriate tolerance, which will produce a contracted selection. As you can see, while this step indeed got rid of the color fringes, it did so at the expense of losing fine detail in the hair's edges. Not really the result we want. As such, instead of tweaking selection quality, let's instead use an alternative solution which adjusts the hue of the color fringe to make it less prominent. To do that, we will be using Affinity's HSL adjustment. But what is the HSL adjustment? HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Lightness. It allows you to fine-tune the colors in your image or even completely change them. It has six adjustable settings, the color wheel. When using a particular channel, this allows you to determine the range of colors affected by the channel using four nodes. The next setting is channel. This is represented as color nodes under the wheel. Click the first node, also called the master, to alter all the colors at once or click any other node to enable a specific color set. The third setting is the picker. This allows you to sample a specific color from your image on which to base your adjustment. The currently active color node will be updated after picking a color. Note that the master node cannot be color picked. The fourth setting is U-Shift. This controls the color tint of the pixels in the image. Drag the slider to shift the colors through the spectrum. The next setting is Saturation Shift. This controls the intensity of the colors in the image. You can drag the slider to change the color intensity. The final setting is Luminosity Shift. This controls the overall brightness of the image. So let's apply the HSL adjustment to reduce the prominence of the color fringe. To start off, I'll click Adjustments, HSL, in the HSL dialog, I'll need to specify the color to adjust, which in our case should be the color fringes color. To do that, you can either specify a channel which matches the color fringe. As I do that, you can see the color wheel is updated to reflect the range of colors. Or a more precise way is to specify the color via the picker. I'll click the picker button. I'll sample the color. As you can see, both the color wheel and the channel color is updated respectively. I'll adjust the hue to a value which better matches the hairs. I'll also adjust the luminosity. As you can see, it worked. The color fringe has disappeared. Unfortunately though, the adjustment has affected the rest of the image. No problem, let's limit the adjustment by adding a mask. Since I'm on the Mac, I'll option click the mask button to reveal the menu. By the way, this seems to be a new behavior in the latest update, as previously, I could two finger tap the button to reveal the menu. Apparently in Windows, you can still right click. Notice that with the addition of the empty mask, the entire adjustment has been hidden. Let's selectively reveal the adjustment by painting white on the mask.
There, mission accomplished. The color fringe is gone. So here is the before and the after. Another alternative, instead of changing the hue, is to reduce the saturation. Let's try that. Here is the before and the after. So there you have it. That's how you remove an ugly color fringe from a cutout using the HSL tool. As you can see, not only does it perform the decontaminate colors function effectively, it even has the advantage of being non-destructive, not affecting the underlying pixels as decontaminate colors is wont to do in other applications. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any other tips for removing unsightly color fringes. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.